Hello and welcome back. I'm your host, TNT, Tara Nicole Tarver, and we are throwing out this amazing lifeline with Supernatural Lifeline Revelations. We are here talking with my daughter, one of my spiritual daughters, Nisha, and her husband, Raheem Miller. Welcome to Hi. our set today. Thank hello, you. Hello, hello. Thank you, Thank you for having us. Yay. So let's say it. So uh, there's so much into the both of you guys. I really love how God has called you guys into ministry. Um, literally, you guys are scattering seeds, and God is pulling in the harvest through your ministry. I love being a part of the fact of watching it birth, actually, in your yes, home even. Yes, yes, but literally, yes. um, I'm just thinking on the day when you came to Praise Dance, yes. and we were in L.A. at the encounter. Yes. And we were in the bathroom, and God <laughs> began to prophetically speak yes. to you. You want to share about what happened that day and how that impacted you and your husband's life. Awesome. So, yes, we were preparing to get ready to praise dance, and we're putting on our garments, my best friend and I. And mom is in the mirror. She's putting on her makeup. We were just talking casually. Then all of a sudden, she just started prophesying that the Lord is getting ready to bring your husbands in closer. The intimacy that you guys desire is going to connect, and he's going to walk right in the door. And my best friend and I, we just fell out crying. We just broke down because everything that you said, literally word for word, was exactly what we both needed in our marriage. So we getting dressed and we're dancing. We ministered. My husband, he was supposed to be at work. I asked him. I remember he was said, the Lord said the, he's sending an angel to your home and he's fixing some things right now. Absolutely. And he wasn't even really feeling good that day. But one thing about my husband, he is a workaholic. He, he's, he's the financer of this family. He takes care of us. Because of him, I'm able to stay at home and raise the baby. So he's always working. So I was like, I want you to come. He was like, no, I got to work. Mom said, is an angel coming to fix something at the home? And he's going to be here. 30 minutes later, he walked in the door. I was like, I thought you had to work. And I, because like I said, he's so focused. He makes sure that he takes care of everything. So for him to walk in, I knew that it was a, a divine appointment from wow. the Lord. And it was a blessing ever since then. And I remember that day, um, how God, somehow God ends up calling you out prophetically. And you came up to the front. And we, we just spoke over you and prayed over you. I have, that's one of my favorite pictures, actually, that day, of a picture of you guys. Just God, just, you're standing there. You've got your red on yes, and yes, your praise yes, dance. And yes, here's your yes. husband that just walked right into this divine appointment. Yes. But prophetic isn't new to you. You grew up, both of you guys, in prophetic homes, prophetic ministries. So yes. what were you thinking that day? I, I was just blown away, but... I'm always checking to hear the voice of the Lord, and you got to hearken to his voice. It said, my sheep know his voice. So when you have a chance to have a divine encounter, you rush to it. You don't waste time because delayed obedience is disobedience. <laughs> still disobedience. disobedience. So I was, I was elated to, to be here. I was elated to have the men pray over me yes. and to pray over our marriage and our children. And it's just been, uh, you, you've been a blessing to us, oh complete goodness. blessing to us. Oh, I was shocked last year, though, because that was like totally, you know, it's, uh, it's un when you're doing the prophetic, just God just starts pouring into people. The spirit of God just begins to rest upon people and, mm -hmm. and it shows you which ones and who's what. And uh, through prophetic dance, you've really unlocked a lot of doors, you yes. know, and it's yes. kept doors open for you Thank and it's you opening Lord. doors Thank for you, you everywhere because God gave it to you and you can yes. tell. So I knew I was like, oh, I definitely want you to dance. And you're like, oh, I'll pray about it. I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> you know, okay, we feel that cool because, you know, I knew Sherry and the whole crew is coming and it's mm -hmm. good. But I was like, if she wants to dance, I want her to dance because I, she's anointed to do it. Mm -hmm. You can Thank tell you. when somebody's doing it because for the wrong reasons, but mm -hmm. you're, mm -hmm. You're anointed by God Thank you, Lord. to praise, dance, and break chains. Yes. So when we had you dance, next thing you know, I think we were over here, mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. husband, mm -hmm. and you, I don't know how we got back into you guys again. <laughs> you were not even, I don't Every even know time. if you were supposed to be here. We just ended up praying for you. And once again, I think the man, all the twice, men, the men, yes. all yes. the men surrounded you again. Yes, 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 yes. 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 God has yes. really signified that you guys were called to ministry. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And he's put his hand on, and, and you can't get there alone. It takes others who've gone before you, so it was an amazing thing. What, was, what, what happened that day to you guys? Uh, that was something that just dealing with my childhood of 
of just trying to grow up, to be validated, to become a man, you know, having, I, you know, had a stepfather, my you had diver, divorced early with my father. So uh, it was tough just trying to get through that, that feeling like of that you're missing out on something. And I wasn't allowed to play sports. It was always in the books. Yeah. So to, to have, I didn't have that camaraderie. So to, to have men come and to, to, to pray with me was very uplifting because I'm used to doing things by myself. Wow. Yes. So, and we would have never known that. <laughs> uh, your wife told me, which I totally forgot, was you know when you're in the prophetic, you forget when you, yes. don't, you don't remember, or you're not carrying everybody's prophecies. But she said that that day that I gave you a prophetic instructions for 30 days to build her up. And she yes. said she was exactly what she needed. And you said, that I, that you said that the Spirit of God said that you were operating off of how much percent? 12%. 12%. And if you built her, if you built her up, that she could do more for you. Yes. And she said you followed that instructions, which commendable because you can give people instructions. It doesn't mean they're going to follow them. Right. 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 And she said it changed her. Absolutely. What happened during that time? What did you do? What did that word do inside of you? What happened when you guys went home? Yeah. You you mentioned uh, to read the book about the five love languages. And so a lot of times I wor I'm working in the field and I, I just, t I'm in my car and so I'll turn on the uh, audio book of the, of the five love languages. So I was studying and it was just mind blowing because it was, it made so much sense. Connected and so, the dots. Right. And so she, her love language are, are words building her up when you uh, give compliments and, and notice these things and speak about it. That means a lot to her. And so... Uh, I really focused, laser focused on making sure I did that every day for 30 days. And wow. It made a huge difference. So how did, in your marriage, what did you see differently after you started building up your wife? Uh, just drawing closer, just, you know, less arguments, just, just more, we're on, more on the same page from day to day. I like to say that, like, she's Wonder Woman and you're Superman, and you know, she needs to tie your cape on and she, you got to tie her cape on. And when her cape is on, she can do what she needs her to do for you. Like she can soar, she can be that, that powerful woman. But if you don't put the cape on, she's an average human being, Right. you know? Right. So I, I love when people take that note and find out exactly what the other person's love language is. And truth be told, we, everything we learn, we're taught. And so yes. uh, if we don't see it done or it, we, someone doesn't show it to us or God doesn't show it to us, even think about Moses. When Moses had, had to, you know, threw the staff down, God came and taught him. He trained him. Mm -hmm. Throw the staff down. Mm -hmm. Oh, he turned mm -hmm. to a snake. Now pick it back up. Oh, it's back, it's back to a staff. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. take your hand. Put it in here. I put it in there. Oh, my hands, my right. Okay, put it back in. <laughs> okay, my hands go, oh, we good now. Okay, he was teaching him. Right. right. Somebody has to teach you. Right. There is no Elisha without an Elijah. There's mm -hmm. no jo Joshua without a Moses. It has to be imparted, and someone has to come along and speak a word, and that's the word of God, and then it has to be shown to you. That's why he said train up a child in the way that they yes. should go. When they're older, they will not depart. And one thing I love about your wife is that, like, literally, she watches. So when I, if I say <laughs> uh, a decree gold dust, now you guys got gold dust yes. at your guys' home showing up. <laughs> and she sees, it was like, fire, this fire, and people are getting healed. And it's like she, she understands how to connect. Mm -hmm. And it starts with the heart. And it starts with the service. Yes, those things that you serve one another, you're, it's the compassion. It's the way that you connect to the person and you can gain their blessing. Mm -hmm. So I mm -hmm. love the fact that you took from that man, Gary Chapman, the five love languages, everything he learned, everything he sowed, all those years of his PhD, whatever he had to go through, all the stories, everything he had to sit through, through the psycho, uh, you know, psycho, psychoanalysis and, and the psychologist appointments and all the counseling appointments, you took that information and you applied it and it worked. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. What would you say to couples that actually literally just need, like they don't even know they need that fine tuning and tweaking and literally it's, it, things are fixable. That I heard Tudor Bismarck say one time, he said, most people don't divorce because of their lack of love. They love each other. There's a lot of people that are in love that actually divorce all the time. They lack the tools mm -hmm. and the instructions mm -hmm. and the, the wisdom to do what is needed to be done. Right. So, right. of course, wisdom is applied knowledge. A knowledge is information. You don't have the information. You're a young man and, 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 and not having that 
father figure you needed or seeing it modeled in your home, where are you going to learn? You know, where does she learn to express what she needs? Unless we are teachable, coachable, trainable, flexible, we're not going to be able to understand how that person operates unless we get in the spirit. So I love the fact that you guys were able to hear, heed to the word, apply it, and it changed your life and your ministry and your family. What would you say to other couples that might be able to be in that same position, young families, small children, husband and wife working, working together? What would you say? I would say, just like the Bible says, study to show yourself approved. And my people perish for lack of knowledge. There's, there's different fields. God sends us into different fields. Some people are called to be doctors. Some people are called to be lawyers. So if you study to show yourself approved when it comes to uh, maximizing your marriage to have the best marriage possible. And so you have Christians who have dedicated their lives to studying this so you can have the benefit of their knowledge. So don't take it for granted. Do your homework. So study to show yourself approved. Wow. I would say open communication, to not really talk at your spouse, but openly communicate to where they can understand you. Mm -hmm. Say, for example, if there's a misconception, be like, you know what, what I meant to say was. Right. So, because I can say something to him, but he may perceive it the wrong way. So sometimes we have to slow down, take a breather, and openly communicate your real feelings. And sometimes being truthful may hurt, but it's better to come out and be truthful to your, par your partner, hurt their feelings at that moment, rather than holding it in, holding it back, and then it comes back out later in a big argument. I found that a lot of times, too, depends on the maturity levels. Because sometimes, like, you can have a person that knows when you had a rough day, mm -hmm. and they can discern it. Ah. Mm -hmm. Then you know, whatever you were already upset about, doesn't even matter. Mm -hmm. can, let me just mm -hmm. love on you, mm -hmm. and everything's mm -hmm. going to be okay. Mm -hmm. Then you get a person, too, where they just want to be right, and they don't know any other way, yes. and they just like to argue. So yes. those times, in certain people's homes, they have to literally do things differently because yes. you're kind of walking on eggshells until that person matures. So you're really praying Absolutely. for them to mature, their character to develop in the way of God. But Absolutely. if you have someone, I know your heart, you know my heart, we are walking together. If you're choosing a person, you want to choose someone that you can agree with. You want to choose someone that understands development and character and that loves you and enjoys you. You guys are friends. And that way, you want to hear your friend. Right. You want to serve your friend. You want to grow. You guys want to get to your goals. You can set goals and meet them together. But then there's some people who are just unequally yoked. Yes. I love the yes. fact that like, you can find when couples are called by God and they want to hear God's voice and they want to please God, they're able to do what you guys did. Apply the knowledge, apply yes. the wisdom, give the benefit of the doubt. Yes. Here, even when someone is saying something in a manner you don't like it, you're hearing with your spiritual ears Absolutely. rather than what they're saying out their mouth. That's key. Yes. That's you know, key. my um, <laughs> my my ex-husband uh, sent a message. Uh, our daughter got engaged, and um, somehow everybody kind of was invited. He wasn't invited. Um, uh -huh or he didn't know, or something of that nature. Right. But he thought I knew, but I didn't know. So I got this message, and we haven't had a disagreement in so many years, and I just looked at it, and my daughter said, oh, just, oh, just ignore it, don't even say anything. But I knew I had the power to help him and fix it rather mm -hmm. than ignore it. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I sat there, I put emojis, I said, oh, I understand, I can see how you can see it like this. This is what happened, right, and I was right. like, sorry about that, let me go back and try to do this and fix this. I want you to know you're an amazing father, you, you and Sarah, we love you, you know, and I built them back up, and all of a sudden, I'm getting praying hands, and I'm getting like, oh, I'm sorry I came at you like that. Right, when right, you have right. the ability to bring peace to a situation, yes. when you have yes. the ability to yes. understand what is needed, yes. not what, you know, I could have said, a, 10 million other things right, that right. could have brought a lot of strife. And then we get to a wedding a year later, and I brought the strife. Instead of me being the Christian and mm -hmm. acting Christ-like, and me bring, be, I see, you know what, you might need a little, your, your hurt is talking, so let me just get this surgery, and let me just sew, sew you, you up, up a little bit, mm -hmm. rather mm -hmm. than throw some salt on that. Mm -hmm. right, you know, right, we get an right. option, and it, and it takes us to die to ourselves. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, yes. Absolutely. Uh, I've seen you guys grow a lot in the couple, last couple of years. I'm really, really excited about that. How has that? How has this growth been um, with your ministry, growing in ministry and doing? You know, you guys are regularly prophesying, praying for people, holding sermons. I've seen some of yours where you've been exposing some of the things of <laughs> darkness out yes. there. You've been researching. Yes. And so, how has your ministry been changed due to you guys coming together? 
I can say for myself, now that we're able to communicate better, because we know each other's love language, we can communicate more to where we can express ourselves more to where we don't bring our issues to the forefront. We can squash it and we can move forward and we can go forward with ministry. Because mm -hmm. if we're not on the same page, we don't feel like we should be going and, and doing extra stuff until we get ourselves together. So yeah. we make sure that we pray together, that we fast together, so we can be on one accord, so we can minister to other folks. Because I realize that so many people are looking up to us and calling us power couples, and it's like, all we're doing is just what God has called for us to do. <laughs> but it has blessed us tremendously and just the teach, oh, my husband is dynamic when it comes down to the teachings. Just the, the, everything that I've learned from you has made such of a huge difference wow. in our ministry. So with his powerful research and exposing the enemy, and then I get the, the, the prophetic and also the supernatural from you, and I'm able to apply it. So many people are blessed. So mm, many people are healed. It. It's, it's so dynamic. But... I give God the praise for my husband and for you because you, you literally Lord. have impacted my life, the ministry, in impeccable ways. It's I didn't know anything God. about the, the supernatural until I came under you. And like <laughs> I say all the time, what I see my mom do, I do the same thing. She's awesome. Literally, gold That's dust all over my body. Last Friday when I ministered, it was literally lights coming off of my hands. Yes. The glory of God was so strong. Yes. But again... I sold into my mom, I sold into the ministry, I prayed and, and, and I went hard for God and, and it shows, but I follow behind my teacher, I wow. follow behind my husband and just the information that he gives, the way that he pours into his studies to be able to expose the kingdom of darkness so tough, it is just, it's amazing, wow. it's amazing, it's this amazing. Is really, is, this is what every teacher wants, you know, wants to see. People just do what God is showing us to do. We just open up the door for somebody else. And you guys are opening up doors and unlocking people, and that's just amazing. And God's going to continue to bless and prosper you guys because you guys are doing the work of the Lord, you yes. know? Yes, And yes. Um, just to see the transformation in those two years is really amazing. Absolutely. It really has. Like, Absolutely. God has brought you guys so far. <laughs> Thank God for that. Thank God for that. It's, right. it's been a journey. It's and how journey. has ministry been growing during this whole time of coronavirus and different things? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We have, uh, because we're also online, since mm -hmm. we can't meet, because like, like you were saying earlier, our ministry was birthed literally out of my house. Right. We were, I was on your ministry yeah. live and one of the speakers there, she said, the Lord said that you need to get it done and if you don't do it, he's going to give it to somebody else. And I said, oh, okay, let me get this started. And started. it birthed from there. Yeah. Literally from under your ministry. Friday that's night, where right? it birthed from. Yes, from yeah. our Friday night service. Yeah. And it, it just birthed from there. And um, even during the pandemic, we have more people overseas and in, in different and we have someone from nebraska wow that is a part of the ministry nebraska. that are faithful that are faithful and this they see the glory of god upon us they see the teachings they they see the manifestation wow. and they're and they're coming they're coming yes. people if they miss our friday service they'd be like oh i'm sorry that i missed it please forgive me and i'm just like <laughs> Wow! Because they're called to be there. Wow! So you guys are making a transition. Yes. You're going called to another region. Yes, yes, yes. I'll let you speak on it because the, <laughs> the Lord told you. And five, five years ago, before all this stuff has happened, the Lord told me to move to Texas. And so, you know, it's, it's a trend. We're not understanding what's going on, but God does. And just we're just being obedient to, to follow the call. And, you know, even the words, the prophet has no honor in his own country. And so I know God has called me to, to, to have a, a men's children's center just to have education, to teach about the things that they don't even teach in, in school, schools, yes. to teach uh, Bible, Bible study, just hands on a nonprofit without charging individuals, just to give, just to bless people, to give them the knowledge. And so, but Amen. we're, as, as in ministry, you're just, you just, Lord, just have your way. Whatever you, wherever we go, just like Abraham was called out of Ur, out of Chaldea, he just went to wherever God told him to, to, to do. And so I just thank my wife for, for just trusting that I hear the voice of the Lord. And we just, as a couple, just 
we just want to just magnify God and do whatever he tells us to I do. I saw some type of training coming. Amen. I was like, what is that? I was like, do you guys know, you know what that is? There's some training or some schooling or something? I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's, well, we, we've talked about a prophetic school. That's, ex I, I literally, <laughs> what's funny is you were talking right now. And I, w I went, I was gone already. I was, so you were talking and I already was looking. So I was like, I, w I don't know what that looks like on my face, but I was like, that's why I was just looking and I'm looking, I'm like, oh, I'm looking at the school and, and I'm seeing you guys, got, uh, God is going to do a mighty thing with this. And I'm like, oh gosh. So the prophetic just opened up and I saw um, you guys training people, manuals, um, a school, and I saw graduates and it's going to be a mighty thing for you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, yes. God. Because that's, 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 that's confirmation. A confirmation. Because, <laughs> yeah, we, I went through an informal prophetic school when I first got saved, and we started with yes or no questions and say, what, what does God say? And that's what I gave to my wife when I married her is that it, ask God about everything. I, even if you're going to the grocery store, which one to pick out? And so we've gotten to a habit of yes. asking God, Hey, look, Holy Spirit, should I get this or should I get that? Yes. And so that's been our lifestyle. And so Good. we, we want to impart that to everybody who's hungry for the prophetic in their life. Because without the prophetic, I mean... I, the world <laughs> can't operate without the prophetic. That's right. All that's the right. kings had, had, a, had a prophet in their life. They called them fathers. Mm -hmm. Deborah, the men would not go out to war without her. Mm -hmm. In the time when women mm -hmm. were not even able to be in an office, right. mm -hmm. in the office. Mm -hmm. they knew she had a gift right. that they needed. So many, the prophets, God says in Amos 3 and 7, he does nothing in the earth without first revealing yes. it to his sons, the prophets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So even in Luke 16, it says you have Moses and the prophets. Right. So right. God has sent the prophetic word because before he gets ready to do anything, which is to bring balance and new beginnings, it has to start with a prophetic word. Yes. yes. So he needs to be able to train them up and, you know, they're, they're sons of prophets. And, and Amos even talked about neither, he, was, he wasn't born of a prophet, nor was he a son of a prophet. He literally, God appeared to him and he then, he began to prophesy mm -hmm. in yes. Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. You know, so God is literally raising up prophets. Yes. And I love that yes. we're growing always. And yes. it's in the family. It literally yes. is, there's families of prophets. That's why it's sons of prophets. There mm -hmm. was, everywhere they went through the regions, there were sons of prophets. So I'm, I'm very excited. I cannot wait to be a part of this, uh, what you guys are going to do. Uh, it's going to be really, really great. And God is going to use you guys. Even your entrepreneur hands, um, are going to be dabbled in some things that I'm seeing like five different streams of income where they're coming Amen. from other areas too. Amen. So you'll be in ministry, but you'll be on your job, a marketplace, and she'll be doing two things, other things I saw her doing too. I don't know why I saw something with, um, I, I saw you working with your hands, definitely always with ministry, but then I saw you doing um, a, a few things with your hands, not just like the hair thing. I saw something else doing with hands, your hands. Um, I don't know if you ever, did you ever used to even like, what's that, uh, they like uh, crochet, knit, something. I don't know what I'm looking at. I don't know why I'm even seeing something strange with, with that. But it seems like it was a pastime something. That's funny because I wanted to do like DIY arts and crafts and things like that. Making little pictures and, yeah. and bases those, and things like, that's like that. Like, that's yes. I've seen those little things. You know how they have the, you see those ladies and they're sitting there making the, these things. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing your hands mm -hmm. moving in some of those ways wow. too. Thank there was one Lord. other thing um, that God was showing me. Uh, that I see God really going to move to you guys in this mighty way, but entrepreneurship and bringing people together. And I saw groups coming to learn what you do and you training because God has caused a teacher anointing upon you both and that you'll be able to train others and certify them in some things. It's going to be great. Thank you, Lord. Thank, Thank you, Lord. You. Thank Absolutely. You. Absolutely. Amen. That's exactly what we were talking about. It was one thing that you prophesied to me that I will have my own business with, with hair and making wigs and training up other people that would like to do that and start fighting them. Wow. Same thing with my husband. Wow. He wants to start a, a group for young men and women to be able to teach them about the word, about the Bible, how to invest, how to make money, how yes. to, you know, the things that, like you said, is not taught in school. And we, it was prophesied to us recently that we will have many children coming to us to learn about God, to receive the Holy Spirit. Yes. So everything that you're saying, Mom, is just confirmation to yes. us. Yes. But we yes. are just so gung-ho for whatever God has for us. We just want to make sure that we are in alignment 
alignment, especially in this season. This is amazing. This is really wonderful because I, you raise up spiritual children because you want to see their fruit. Yes. What parent doesn't want their kid to be better than them? Yes. Do more. Just yes. uh, to see the light of Jesus just move through you guys and do great and mighty exploits. And that's why I wanted to ba basically bring you guys so you guys can encourage others. Yes. Uh, I love family. I love yes. that you guys are a young family and a growing family and a praying family yes. and anointed and Jesus is your center. Hallelujah. Uh, yes. I want to pray for you if you're out there and maybe you were struggling and maybe you were miscommunicating and maybe you're a single mom and God has someone for you or you're a single dad and you're wondering how do we make our way. God is your provider and the Lord is your way made. And today I'm just here to tell you that he can, if he does it for them, he could do it for you. Absolutely. That he's given you skills, he's given you abilities, and he was, wants to be the one to help you. And today he wants you to surrender. So Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you for each and every person in the sound of my voice. God, touch, heal, deliver, yes, set free right now because yes, they're calling Lord. upon your name. Yes. Lord, I thank you that in that name is the protection, in the name is that power, that you care about them, Father. The same power that raised Jesus from the dead, that exusia power is working in them and through them. Father, draw them, Lord, to your heart. I pray that they rest in you, Father God, and that you would do a mighty work and you would commission them and call them and send them out to do great and mighty exploits. They would find purpose and passion in the midst of finding you, Father. And I thank you and praise you. We love you, we honor you, we praise you, we thank you. There's none like you in all the earth. We yes. thank you for sending your son, Jesus. We thank you for the grace upon our life to increase us in every way, shape, or form. In Jesus' name we Jesus pray for you. Amen. 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 I want to thank you guys for being on. My spiritual Jesus. daughter, my son here. I'm thank so you. glad to have you guys. Yes, uh, sure Minister Nisha and her husband, Rahim. We love the Millers and we bless you guys today. Thank you very much. And all you who are watching, please share, tag, invite. We've been encouraged today watching Supernatural Life line of revelations. I'm prophetess TNT Tara Nicole Tarver. We're throwing out this lifeline. Be sure to share because your timeline is somebody else's lifeline. God bless you and take care.